going on, but this is a very important one for me uh, because I think that uh, it's just wonderful to give prizes to young people. First, because we are the, the older ones, we are very jealous of you. We're very jealous of the fact that you're going to see these amazing things in the world. And you are the proof of that. I mean, I think that is just amazing. I was reading, and now you explain me, each one of you, the great things that you did that are things that uh, for the common, regular people on the street, uh, they don't, don't even dare to imagine where you are. I mean, like having uh, someone like you working in a quantum computer, I mean, most of the people don't even know what's that, right? And so you are ahead of 99% uh, of the population, and you're so young, right? Or working in a new type of wing uh, to get more efficiency on planes. Uh, you know, imagine that. I mean, it's something that you get. Normally, people of your age, you sit on the plane, you enjoy, you find it's beautiful. But who would think that someone of your age would imagine how to redesign the wing to get more efficiency? I think this is just absolutely mind-blowing. And then you guys, I think that you kind of made me dream when I was young. So uh, in the 70s, you th we think at the time that all the cars will fly and we would be flying around and all that. And then suddenly, I mean, 45, uh, 50 years went by and nobody is flying. And then I get up in the morning, I say, oh, these two German fellows are doing this overboard. So I was very excited because I thought that I could do the overboard here without any, I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, you're making people fly, uh, which is uh, just something that uh, for ages, people like Da Vinci and others dreamt about uh, that you could have these ways of going around the city. So you are very special uh, young people and uh, the European Union is very proud of you. So the only thing that I wanted to ask you before we go into the prizes is that because we are giving you this prize, so anytime that you are in discussions with friends and um, you talk about Europe, think about what this represents for you and the opportunities that Europe can open for you. Because you know, I mean, if you do a quantum computer just in Ireland, I mean, it's not big enough. You can go global. I mean, the wings of the planes, I mean, it's not just for Denmark, it's for everyone. And of course, I mean, the hoverboard, I mean, is also a global matter for all of us that uh, dream uh, the future. So you are Europeans, and then we want to cherish that. And we hope that you will be also a little bit our ambassadors. So, I mean, you know, these prizes, there's always something that we ask. And I'm just asking you when you can to tell a little bit about Europe. So thank you very much. And now uh, I'm a little bit lost because, I mean, I have the Master of Ceremonies behind me looking at me. I know we have a video, right? We have a video now of the contest as it took place in Sofia. A short video. Good. Please. So we, you. we see it for yeah. now. environmental problems, so I'm very proud to be here. The contestants uh, are trying to address problems of society, and which is a good sign, I think, that, this is, that, that these things are driving their interest and driving their projects.
The best part is obviously the people, so I just made the most of it while I was here. We were just recognized for the hard work we put in, the research that we did, for our passion for science. It's a really amazing feeling. The fact that it actually went pretty well means that it will be easier for me to uh, you know, gain access to larger wind tunnels to scale up my experiments. We could contribute uh, to the uh, magnetic levitation train technology. Congratulations again, you all did a fantastic job. And it was such a shame that you couldn't all be in Sofia. But you saw the hoverboard very briefly there. Yes. Good, good. Um, now we're going to move on to our ceremony today. Thank you for taking the time to come to visit us in Brussels. I know it was, you're all at school, so you've all taken time out of your busy schedules. Uh, but first I would like to invite um, Magnus on stage, please to receive your certificate and prize. Magnus won first prize for his very impressive engineering project on the wingtip's influence on the efficiency of airplane wings. Mag Magnus's wingtip maximizes lift and minimizes drag, making the aircraft way more efficient and uh, contributing to our climate, uh, positively to our climate impact. <clears throat> By the way, I mean, I hope they, they get the money, right? They, they get... Uh, they, already the they already money. got the money. They got the money in Sofia. Thank you. They got the money in Sofia. And in fact, sure the winners, <laughs> they may not have got the money yet, but they will certainly be getting the money soon. I want to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> now you've put me in a difficult position. I'm still the commissioner, so I still okay. have a <laughs> We'll do our best before you leave that they get it. Each of the first prize winners were, the project was awarded 7,000 euros. And, uh, yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you, Magnus. Uh, Adam, Kelly, I'd like to ask you to come to the stage now, please. Adam won first prize for his computing project on optimized simulation of general quantum circuits. And previously, Adam impressed the judges at the Irish BT Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition and at SciFest in Ireland and indeed at Intel ISEF in Phoenix in the States in May. Thank you. And finally, Last but by no means least, I would like to invite Felix Serving and Alex Korochnikov to the stage. Sorry, please. I... Felix and Alex won first prize for their engineering project on their hoverboard, which you actually saw in, that, in the short video. And they hope that it will be used in train technology in the future. And they have even applied for a patent for their device. And I would like to add that you can find more information about all these impressive students and their wonderful projects on the contest website and on the European Commission's USES website. Thank you. So we close uh, We ceremony. would like to close with yes. a family photograph, absolutely, please. Absolutely, absolutely. If I could but, uh, but really, I mean, uh, you know, these uh, young people are, are really fantastic and, and very special. And uh, I think that uh, sometimes we look uh, to the future and we need more examples like yours. And, and today your generation is giving such a great example every day and you're part of that generation. So I'm, I'm very proud of you. No, I'm good, and we are you. all very proud of you. Thank you for coming during, uh, I know that you are busy with classes and you had to come to Brussels just for these. Uh, so thank you so much. We really appreciate that from really the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Sorry that I was not in Sofia, but I think it was also good to, for you to come to Brussels. And you'll go to the Berlaymont and you'll meet uh, the people, the institutions and all that. So I'm really happy for you. So thank you very much. And thank you for all of those that uh, were here at 9 a.m. to watch <laughs> these uh, great, great kids. So thank you very much. Thank you.
Okay, shall we stand up for the photograph? I have been instructed by the organizers that there's a, an invisible line in the carpet and we're to stand behind that. And me? Are you sure? Yeah, sorry. Can we turn this off? Thank you very much. And thank you for taking the time. Thank you.